Welcome to the University of North Georgia Political Science and, and International Affairs Department's YouTube channel, where we present interviews with our students and our faculty members to highlight their accomplishments and insights. In this segment of our Meet Our Faculty series, you'll have the opportunity to meet Dr. Christian Harris, the program coordinator of our Master of Arts in International Affairs graduate degree program. Good afternoon, Dr. Harris. Good afternoon. Could you start off a little bit by telling us about yourself? Well, I joined the faculty of what was formerly North Georgia College and State University, and now it's uh, University of North Georgia, in 2005. I uh, previously had worked at the College of New Jersey in New Jersey, at the University of Texas at Austin, at Queen's uh, University in Ontario, Canada, and at the University of Delaware. And University of Delaware is where I earned my uh, postgraduate degrees. Uh, first, a Master of Arts in International Affairs in 1992, and then a PhD in Political Science in 2001. Uh, my undergraduate studies were in Argentina, where I'm originally from. And my uh, undergraduate studies uh, were five years, uh, and it's called a licenciatura. Uh, and it's in international relations. Well, thank you. What What are your primary areas of interest? Obviously, international affairs, international relations in the, in the big overarching scheme, but what more specifically would be your areas of interest? And transition to that into what classes then do you teach here at uh, University of North Georgia? Well, I was hired to teach classes in international affairs, uh, although the degree did not exist at the time uh, the classes that I, were, uh, I was tasked uh, uh, to teach were international affairs. And uh, within international affairs, uh, classes uh, about uh, Latin American politics. Um, uh, then I started teaching international organization, uh, development, international political economy, uh, comparative government. And when the graduate program uh, was launched, I started teaching classes at the uh, graduate level. Um, so I would say that my areas primarily are international affairs and comparative politics. My area of interest in particular is development, comparative development, uh, international political economy. Related to that then, it sounds like your, most of your adult life has been teaching or helping students learn. What got you into teaching in the first place? You, and you just mentioned international economic development, but why international affairs is a big picture? And then tertiarily, why here at UNG? Well, originally my plan was to uh, go into uh, foreign service, for, for uh, work for the uh, foreign service in Argentina. And uh, in the process, I applied to uh, earn a graduate degree in the U.S. And uh, I went to the University of Delaware. Um, at the completion of the degree, I went back home. I went back to Argentina. And um, in the meantime, I worked for a private company, uh, an oil refinery uh, in Argentina. And, and in the meantime, my uh, former academic advisor uh, contacted me and said whether I was uh, interested in coming back to the U.S. for a Ph.D. And um, eventually I accepted it. And um, I was influenced along the way by a faculty both in Argentina and in uh, Delaware who encouraged me to think about teaching as uh, a way of earning a living, and um, I, I got very positive feedback from uh, peers and from students, and uh, I, I started enjoying what I was doing, and uh, at one point, I can't remember exactly when, I stopped the idea of, I, I basically gave up on the idea of applying for the Foreign Service in Argentina, and instead um, decided to start seriously thinking about employment in teaching and uh, in education. In, um, once I graduated from Delaware in 2001, I started submitting applications and uh, that's where I worked in, in uh, New Jersey and later on uh, I applied for a job here at UNG 
uh, what was called uh, North Georgia College and State University. And they were looking for somebody who would teach uh, Latin American politics, who would teach uh, global issues and uh, classics in comparative government, and that fit my profile uh, perfectly. And um, I, I accepted when, when I interviewed uh, for this position, I was offered the position, and I accepted it. So you're obviously happy here. Oh, roughly two decades of teaching. What more than two decades? More decades. Yes. More than two decades. Yes, that that'll be uh, more than twenty-five years. Yes. What keeps you coming back every semester? What motivates you? Well, that that's a good question. I, uh, as I mentioned to you, I worked in the private sector. I also worked for the not-for-profit sector while while I was in Canada. And uh, I can say that I have had experience uh, both in, in teaching and in, in private as well as not-for-profit. And the reason that I'm more attracted to uh, teaching is because um, it's, it's always different. Every semester, every year uh, is uh, something new. There is something new and uh, you approach the same subject, but uh, we are dealing with international affairs, and uh, current events have a tendency to shake our perceptions, our ideas, and, and our understanding of the world. And they challenge us to go back, to rethink what we had traditionally assumed, and approach current events with a new uh, set of eyes, we, we, to look at things with a new uh, from a different perspective, with, with a new point of view. That makes it interesting, and um, it's a way of combining what uh, your research interests are, what your um, passion for, for, for teaching is, and you try to translate that into what you uh, do in the classroom, what, what, what you can bring to the classroom. Uh, I, I think that international affairs is the it's a very exciting field. You can look at the past to learn, uh, to draw lessons. Uh, you can try to predict, uh, to, to see patterns, to predict. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I think that uh, the reality is always new and it's uh, constantly changing. So th that's what keeps me uh, coming back. And uh, students are always um, asking questions that uh, force you to, to, to think harder, uh, to be clear, to be precise, and, and, and that feedback, that almost immediate feedback is, is very um, rewarding, it's very uh, refreshing. Let's turn that around a little bit the other direction. What about your profession? If you could change, would you change? That, uh, when I started um, looking for jobs. So there were many things that I didn't know uh, were involved in, in, um, in academia. Uh, perhaps uh, the, the, the things that are um, not commonly associated with teaching in the classroom are, are the aspects of the profession that uh, could be uh, changed uh, or, or at least managed differently. Um, but overall I would say that um, the profession, uh, in terms of academia, in terms of teaching, uh, I, I wouldn't change much. It's, it's more the other aspects that are attached to it. In closing, what do you have to say to students, our viewers who are either prospective or former students of both the graduate and the undergraduate program? UNG has um, always been recognized for being um, a small university, even though in terms of numbers we are not uh, small anymore. But uh, we, students always, uh, previous uh, students, past graduates, always mention that they, they get to know their faculty, that their faculty are very approachable, and uh, they spend a valuable time with them, explaining to them how to improve in their education uh, and in terms of their overall professional development and personal development. 
Um, I would say that uh, UNG is a place where y you can uh, walk through the door of one of your professors and, and the professor will uh, take time to talk to you uh, personally, get to know you and, and hear your questions and answer your questions, uh, particularly as they apply to you and not just some general uh, comment or general advice. They will listen to you and try to uh, make it fit for your personal uh, interests. Thank you for your time, Dr. Harris. Continued success in helping our undergrads and our grad students in the MAI program experience more. Thank you.